Hi, I'm Tim. I'm a research engineer at DeepMind, and I'm going to tell you today about how we've used TensorFlow and JAX to solve one of the biggest scientific questions in biology, how proteins fold. Proteins are molecular machines essential to life. From our hair to our immune system, they're involved in every aspect of our bodies. Proteins are made of chains of amino acids, which fold into elaborate 3D shapes. The exact 3D shape that a protein makes is important for understanding what it does. And so knowing the 3D shape of a protein helps us to tackle diseases like COVID-19. You might have heard of the spike protein of the coronavirus, for example. Normally, the 3D shape of proteins can only be determined by laborious experiments that can take skilled researchers a long time to carry out. For 50 years, it's been a standing scientific grand challenge to predict protein structure from their amino acids sequence. AlphaFold changes this. How does AlphaFold work? AlphaFold uses deep learning to predict the 3D shape of proteins from their sequence of amino acids, almost like translating between languages. And as with many modern language models, it makes use of attention mechanisms, along with a number of other neural network architecture innovations. If you want to know more, please read our blog post and paper. AlphaFold makes predictions to such a high level of accuracy that in most cases it matches experiments. How do we know this? So CASP is a biennial blind assessment of protein structure prediction. The chart you are looking at shows the performance of the best entrant for CASP from 2006 to 2020. You can see the impressive progress in the last few years. After the 2020 assessment, the last line, AlphaFold was recognized as a general solution to the protein folding problem. Our research that led to the development of AlphaFold involved trying many different ideas. The Google ML ecosystem allowed us to iterate very quickly and then to scale up our research. AlphaFold has trained of 128 TPU v3 cores over a couple of weeks. This is actually quite cheap compared to some modern models. TPUs are very fast, and training at pod scale allowed us to do things like running with a single example per core, which is necessary due to the high memory consumption. When it comes to using AlphaFold to predict a protein structure, a prediction can be made in seconds to minutes on a TPU or a GPU. This opens the door to making predictions at a scale that matches the enormous number of known protein sequences. We developed AlphaFold with TensorFlow 1. As we were migrating away from TensorFlow 1, we decided to use JAX. JAX is also what we use when we open source the model for the whole world to use. We also have a version of AlphaFold that runs using Colab, allowing anyone to run it using minimal setup. So how can you access AlphaFold? After sharing an outline of our advances at the CASP 14 conference last December, in July, we published a detailed paper describing our methods. With this paper, we open source AlphaFold written in JAX with the full model parameters and code. This allows anyone to run AlphaFold on the protein sequence of their choice and has already been used by a huge number of researchers to study their proteins. We also release predictions for all human proteins plus 20 other biologically important organisms in the AlphaFold protein structure database. This is freely available for anyone to use. We're thrilled to see the impact that AlphaFold has already had, excited to see where people use it next, and are looking forward to the future advances enabled by the Google ML ecosystem. Mm -hmm.